Here with SUNY Corbin head coach Kurt Fitzpatrick, number 51 Max Llewellyn, and number 12 Zach Boyce, following a very gritty 23-17 win over Endicott in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Coach, per, per usual, just give us your, your opening comments on today's game. Yeah, um, what an awesome football game. I mean, Endicott is a terrific team. Um, they are really well coached, great on defense, and uh, their quarterback is a playmaker. He made some big plays for them today. Um, just happy to, to, to grind out a win. You know, we um, we played we played tough. We played gritty. Um, it wasn't perfect, but I thought we were very resilient in the way in the way that we played. Our sideline was resilient. Um, playing on the road's hard. Playing on the road in the NCAA tournament at a venue like like this, the crowd was loud, um, and uh, you know, our defense came up huge at the end um, with a great stop. So just just happy the happy that we battled and. Grateful to continue to play. <laughs> Max, just talk about that defensive effort. Definitely got challenged a lot today, but really stepped up to the occasion, especially on that last drive. Just talk about the unit as a whole. Uh, I mean, the offense does a great job of uh, keeping us fresh, and we got a lot of time on the sideline there to get ready. But yeah, it was guys stepping up all over the place, young guys, people stepping in for people hurt, and uh, everybody just doing their job. The biggest thing was just keeping the same mindset in the first quarter as we did in those, you know, all the way up to that final play. It's just the same mindset, do your job, execute, and everything will be all right. Zach, offensively, just talk about the contributions across the board. A lot of student athletes in the box score offensively and the offensive line did a really good job maintaining one of the best defenses in the country. Absolutely. Um, you know, everybody kind of did their job to a very, very good um, standard, our standard, you know. And it was, um, they did a really good job of kind of playing deep and not letting us throw the ball, kind of how we how we uh, planned coming in. Um, they had a really good plan. And um, we just had to go to a bunch of different guys to kind of step up and make plays. And they were all ready. Um, a huge shout out to our offensive line, man. We were banged up. Um, we have two guys that got their first start, or one that just got a second start, and um, they played outstanding. So um, they they really carried us throughout the day. And when we had to run the ball, that's what kind of, they kind of wanted us to do, and we were able to do that with uh, with some success in the second half. Coach, back to back questions for you, and then you guys can jump into first one. Just being at one point, uh, offense was eight for twelve in third down conversions, yeah. finished ten for seventeen. But the game plan really on those third downs was so efficient and, and really. Um, just, you know, remarkable how many third downs in a row yeah. you're just completing. Just talk about the, the unit that's going to um, I think, you know, we preach on offense, poise and concentration. Stay poised. Um, you know, third down, uh, you got to come up clutch and, and execute the play that's called. And I thought we, we had a couple third downs that we converted some longer yardage, but for the most part with our running game the way it was, we were in third and manageable. And we can get in third and – you know, third and four or less, then we can run or pass. I think that, that helps. And we were in a lot of those, it, se it seemed like. Um, and uh, our offensive line, as Zach said, did a tremendous job. And Jaden Alfano St. John and Ashton Capone, you know, really, really ran ran the ball well. So the key for us on third down is to be patient, um, put ourselves in third third downs that we can convert. Uh, and, and we were able to do that, obviously, uh, very well. Um, so. You know, proud of proud of the poise that we showed out there and, and, and the conversions. Coach, uh, start with you first, then Max, maybe take us through. Just take us through that last play. There's four seconds left. Yeah. Everything's on the line. Tell us, you know, from a coaching standpoint, what you're thinking, how the team executed, and then Max jump to you as well. Yeah, um, I mean, we, we were able to take a timeout right, right before that play, so I wanted to try and, try and um, get the ball call the timeout as they snap the ball, which is what happens. We, we could see what type of play they were going to run. And then be, basically we, we were just playing zone, zone coverage um, at the goal line and just trying to keep the ball in front of us. You know, um, if 11, you know, the QB, Clayton, he's a hellcat of a player. You know, we wanted to try and flush him out of the pocket and make him a run, a run pass threat there. Um, and he ended up throwing the ball from the pocket, trying to throw it on rhythm, and we just played, played really good coverage. Um, so... I mean, on that play, I'm just thinking about pushing that pocket in, keeping my cage. Uh, I th we might have had a movement coming on the other side, but I just wanted to stay on top of him and uh, make sure he doesn't try to escape because that's when they were kind of getting free and making some plays. But yeah, we I was pressing the pocket. We we pushed him down. He was getting antsy in there, and he just fired it. And that's it. We I think we had a freshman out there, Eli Alvarez, make mm -hmm. a play on that ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We had Caleb Paul fumble recovery, first snap on a varsity. Like game, it was one snap, one fumble recovery. Yeah, for yeah, the ball. yeah, you can't write that stuff. So yeah, proud of my boys. Yeah, and defense did a great job on the on the edges all all game for sure. Uh, Zach, I'll give you this one last question for you, and then coach will let you have some final thoughts. 
Um, obviously, Cortland plays in some big games throughout the season against Ithaca and just in general against competition. You feel like that helped in today's game, especially how it was sort of like just a big momentum swing after momentum swing, especially late in the second half. Just talk about how those games in the regular season, especially when you play Ithaca at Yankee Stadium and yeah. things like that, does that help going into a game like today? Without a doubt, man. You know, we played in some we played in some really big games, especially last week in that environment. You know, that's why you come to Cortland to play in games like that and to get ready for these moments. Um, you know, so we that was a, that was a situation that we've been in before. You know, we we've been in tight games, um, and I think we really learned from that uh, week three Susquehanna and a loss just to stay together. You know, and have faith, and um, you know, just believe in your brothers, believe in the guys next to you. But you know, playing good competition throughout the year is huge because then you get to really test yourself and you get to improve on things and get to really find out like what you have to do to fix when you know the next next big moment arises. So. Um, Shout out to Coach Fitz for doing that, and uh, you know it really definitely benefited us today. Coach, just final words. Talk mm -hmm. about representing your conference, representing Cortland. Obviously, a big win. Just give us some final thoughts. Yeah, um, def definitely. Um, you know, we we, we know Cortland. Uh, we're, we're team 118. We've had football for over 100 years at Cortland. There's a lot of people um, across across the country who are Cortland alumni who are watching us play today. You know, last week in Cortica Jug was, was great to represent them and get a win there. And then, you know, knowing it, we know that as a team that we don't represent just our own team. We represent uh, everyone who, who, um, who is a fan of Cortland, Cortland football, Cortland athletics. And um, just proud to, to get a win like this on the road and against a really tough team and, and, and move on and continue, um, continue to, to keep Team 118 alive as long as we can. So thanks a lot. Well, really appreciate your time, guys, and congratulations on a really hard-fought 23-17 win over Endicott today, and good luck in the next round. Thanks a lot. Thank appreciate you very it. much. Man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Anybody?